came over here, I think. Hold on. <laughs> Terry, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm shipping. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm just shipping these packages. <laughs> yep. What are you doing? Oh, I was doing some video stuff. Uh-huh. I snuck by just to see what you were up to. Yep, just shipping, you know, got to put labels on the packages and wow. ship them out. It was a little dark in here, so. Yeah, I don't like it to be too bright because the fluorescent lighting makes me look washed out. Wow. You th you're ahead of your time. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm <laughs> ahead of my time. Thinking on your... Oh. Nothing. Oh, I was going to say, oh, yeah, I can't be showing all that. I forgot. This is a room of dangerous, dangerous information. Right. I have that's to why I lock it up. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, oh. yeah, just shipping the stuff and rocking my tie-dye. Yeah. I was going to say. Check it out. Whoa. Uh-huh. Did you make those yourself? No. It was Christmas in January. Oh, wow. They just. They just show magically up? Magically appeared in the mail. And I went, <laughs> tie-dyed socks? I, I was looking for tie-dye jeans. Yeah. I looked on the Amazon. Yeah. They only make them. They're gorgeous for men. Wait, they only make that's for men. And I thought, okay, maybe I'll get some. Yeah. Fine, I'll get some man's jeans, but yeah. the small size is thirty-inch waist. Uh, and yeah. That's like an odd. I don't know. They're four. Not to say that you know everyone should. They're how much? Four hundred thirty-five dollars. <laughs> Wait, I think they messed up where the the decimal point was. Uh, yeah, I don't think they were four hundred and thirty. Yeah, everybody go look. You're going to be a fashion uh, I, I think chauvinista. I'm going to start a GoFundMe for some, uh, you know, tie-dye I jeans. wouldn't say that. A lot of people are going to be like, get her those tie-dye fans. Are they at least nice looking? Oh, they're great. Yeah. But um, but not $435. Not that much worth it. Unless they only come in men's sizes. So they probably fit like men. I bet you we could just make you a pair. That's too much trouble. I'll just... Listen, we just take some, some old jeans, we just bleach them so that they're white, and then tie-dye them. Sounds like a lot of trouble. You know what? <laughs> but, you know, my birthday's coming up sometime this year, so. I'll throw the idea past Yeah, there you we'll go. We'll see what we can make shift yeah. together. Yeah. Yeah, just take a pair of my jeans that we already know fit me, because women's... I was going to say, budget. Well, yeah, women's size jeans, you just don't know I have problems what's going to yeah. fit. I mean, men's are cut and dried. They're like 30, 34. Yeah. Women's? No. I have pants from size 2 to 10, and they all fit. What? Yes, that's women's clothing for you. It's We're crazy. Breaking, it's you're teaching vanity, me things today. It's called vanity sizing. <laughs> They'll make women's clothing a really small number. So then people are like, oh, oh wow, yeah, I feel four. so much better about uh, myself. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's sad but true. Yeah. When we probably just could care less because I'm like, I just want something that's going to fit Yeah, me. clean. Yes. And fits. That's it. <laughs> Other than that, I don't care. I, I often cut labels up because they bother me. Wow. You know, they... They irritate me. Is this what you were dreaming about? I mean, I wasn't dreaming. I was thinking about shipping and trying to be the most efficient shipper that I can be. And then you interrupted me oh. and ruined oh. it. So now it's going to be slow. So and I, I was on the cusp of a great I'm idea. Oh, I'm so sorry. I often dream my solutions, but not now. What? Well, oh, you were dreaming then? Yeah. <laughs> my solutions. Yeah. I'll get out of your hair. See ya. Dark raspberry. Dark raspberry? Mm -hmm. That's the full flavor of the chocolate? Yeah. Then the raspberry bars and break up. Ooh. I know, I was going to say, this is a smaller kettle than you're used to Yeah, using. just for the flavored chocolate. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put it on the table. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. All right. I didn't know you guys had specific flavored chocolate. Yeah, we got uh, raspberry, orange, uh, Irish cream, I think, and that's the fourth one. Though. Yeah, that's okay. You got a lot of them. You got to remember, but I can't. I, I didn't even know. You think well, I would? I make these ahead of time for each holiday, but then it, it's hard to get back to this. To uh, once I run out of it, it's hard to. Yeah, the stock back up. How to stock it back up again? Because because we make so many things. Yeah. Now 
now you're just gonna work with it to cool it down some more. Yep, that's all. So it's take a few minutes. You just get bored at work, so you smear chocolate all over the tables. Yeah. I'm playing with it. Yeah, come on, Steve. <laughs> you gotta get to work before Terry comes in here and yells at you. Uh oh. No, I like when you do the chocolate twist. Hopefully people can see it because it looks really cool on you. <laughs> ready? You ready? Mm, I guess. Okay. Nothing. I'm not. What's I don't even have eyes. Creams? No. <laughs> no. I were in the Star Troop. Dylan, I would never. Okay, but yeah, I am. You definitely didn't do a mistake on the last rack either. No, no. we're on that one. I don't know if you saw that, but hey, if you didn't see it, maybe nobody else did. You're right. But yep, yeah, we're finally back to it. It's uh, we took a couple of months off there. I guess I went a little too crazy making creams last year, so. <laughs> We you were, made a lot. <laughs> yeah. We were pretty stocked up for a while there. But we're finally finally starting to get back to it. I was going to say, are you making here. multiple flavors today or just this one? Uh, I actually already did chocolate buttercream. It's uh, on those 10 trays behind you. Oh, yeah. Or, oh, yeah. right here? Is this... Or no, this is more maple. Yeah. Uh, Jeez, I'm like halfway through the maple, so... I think you just go overboard with creams in general, Max. I like making creams, all right? They look very satisfying when, after they get robed and stuff, too. Or yeah. just these. Yeah, the whole thing is like, you know, Steve gave me the sage advice once where, like, yeah. you know, I, I don't know if you've seen me, like, when I'm really looking at it because I'm trying to see, like, the gap from the top and everything. Yeah. And he's like, stop worrying about it so much, man. Just don't think. And I yeah. was like, like, that's perfect. So, yeah. like, you just run through it and... There you go. It's nice. I mean, because they end up great anyways. Y'all totally should just do a collection of like naked ones where there's no chocolate on them. Yes, I've been thinking about that for a long time. Like, what could we cover? We need a coating to keep it because, you know, it gets softer and softer. Oh, okay. It hardens up over the next couple of days. We cover it in chocolate and then it'll like pretty much turn to liquid eventually. Hmm. So I'm like, you know, like how they do like the marble glazes on cakes? I was going to say, yeah. I was like, we got to do something like that because that hmm. the naked or just a, cream. Or just like a sugar a light sugar glaze because then you still have the color from it the glaze yeah like literally just like a glazed donut you know yeah. how they do it yeah. like Krispy Kreme if you could do something that was so thin we made um, when we were experimenting with the cherries we made like a super thin fondant to see if like that would help yeah. we could do something like that well summer and springs around the corner I, and that's experimenting I'm time. all over that yeah whoa Terry you got some splaining to do the question is what will five thousand dollars get you? I guess we're about to find out. Uh huh. Not much. So I'm gonna <laughs> open these boxes. The biggest box is the least expensive one, probably. Which one is that? The one right. This oh. one. So let me see. Okay. <gasps> That's not gonna cut it. No. <laughs> Literally, if we could. Oh, that okay. one. Yes. No. Okay, that's a microwave. Is it? Yeah. Nothing, so nothing too special. Like I said, this is. A, <laughs> I'll just use this to set other things on top of it. But mm. Joe and Joe was saying that we need a bigger microwave because they melt caramel and peanut butter in the existing microwave. Which the existing microwave actually has a dial. Yeah. <laughs> you know it's an old microwave. But listen, it has a yeah, dial. yeah, yeah. There's only so much in the budget for. So they said so they need a, a bigger one. So I got them a bigger one. And Okay, it's got, oh, it has directions and a turntable. Wow. Oh boy. We're going to start playing some music on it. Uh huh. So, yeah, I think that'll work. Get your compact disc. Let's keep this part, though. Uh, uh. Uh. I know, there's one person here. I'm like, I was going to say, if 
feel like there should be two people helping, but I'll yeah. be here for I think assistance. I'm just gonna, I'll just leave it in here. It's a microwave. I think you know what a microwave is. The other like. things are a lot more Yeah, exciting. this is really just gonna be for me to set stuff on top of. Okay, so, as I said, this is a $5,000 pile of stuff. <laughs> and that microwave cost about 130 bucks. So, so, that's not where all the money no, is. No, that's not the big ticket item. Okay, what do we have here? As I said, do you want me to move it out of the... Oh, no, you're going to put stuff on top Yeah, of it. it's my pedestal. That's really why I bought this microwave, so I can set things on top of it. Oh, that's yeah. why I bought it. Yeah. And now, we, let us not forget a couple things um, I want to talk about today. Somebody asked me a very detailed question. Mm -hmm. Questions. And I said, you know what? If you're wondering about this, probably other people are wondering about this, too. Yeah. So instead of sending you an email that I don't have time to type out... Yeah. I'm just gonna answer it on a video. So it's about gloves. This yes. person wants to know um, what gloves, the various gloves we use and their purposes. Or was it purposes, I forget. One okay. of those. Huh, this, what is this? Air pillow film. What? I have a feeling this isn't gonna be any good unless <laughs> you blow it up. Wait. So, Sam, Boiler. you got any straws on you? <laughs> fresh <laughs> out. Fresh out. Oh boy, we're gonna need lots of lung capacity. But that's gonna become my friend, huh? This is well. This this is that might be your friend. I think your biggest friend will be down here under this under this box. Yeah. So that's air pillows. So all we need to go with that is the air inflator. Oh look, we have some Dandy's marshmallows. What are those for? Those are gonna be for vegan hot cocoa spoons. Ooh. Yeah. That'd yeah. Nice. We're setting the vegan world on fire. <laughs> Yeah, so Terry had to explain this to me because I wasn't very sure when she said I got an air cushion blower up or thing machine and I was like, what is it? Hey, that barely makes more sense yeah. now. I was going to say, it's basically like those little pillows you see maybe in your Amazon yeah. packages or UPS packages nowadays. Wow. It's not heavy. I was going to say, it looks, no, it heavy. looks more it's heavy than it probably is. Somewhat cumbersome. So I watched a little bit of a video, a YouTube video, <laughs> for how to set this up. And uh, basically, you plug it in. Yeah, you Sam, you're gonna watch the, watch the video too, huh? A couple mm -hmm. of times, so it's still set. I figure it'll go over here. I already have and had dreams. Yeah, dream, dreams or nightmares? <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, not sure yet. So basically, I think the. Um, the roll goes on here and you lock it in and you plug it in and this is where the air comes out. Oh, we didn't get any air canisters. Well, it'll be a joke for new people. Go get an air cartridge. Because yep. in the restaurant business, you tell them to go get a can of steam for the steam table. Uh, <laughs> of course. Did they ever do that to you? Uh, they do that in the film industry, but no one would get it. There was, I heard a story about this girl that went to NYU and she thought she was, you know, the talk of the town and knew everything and then she went to a, a big movie set and the director wasn't really liking her very much and he asked for her to go out and get a box full of f-stops and she said okay I'll go get them and but for anyone that doesn't know camera terminology or things like that f-stops yeah, are a measurement that you put on your camera it's not something you put in front of a door yeah to stop it's it not from something you physically grab so she spent about two hours looking for it and she came back and said, I couldn't find that box. And he said, so you're not all that. And then he so ended up she, firing her. So <laughs> She um, was too proud to ask for help. Yep, that too. Yeah. So he didn't like that either. So Yeah, because you could have gotten that in about after the laughter died down. Yeah, no one laughed though. He was trying to teach her a lesson. And then no, I mean, if she would have yeah. asked, where can I find the F-stop? They're going to be like, <laughs> give me your camera. Okay, yeah. so that was about a thousand bucks. Woof. And then the air, I got three types of air pillows and bubble wrap and I'll get this up and running. You guys don't need to see me struggling through reading the directions and I will read the directions. I firmly believe in reading manuals and sometimes twice. So I will do that. Um, but we'll, we'll show you that when it's up and running. The real money today is in this box. What's in the box? What's in the box? Okay. Not this what is, is in the box. This is molds. <gasps> Yes, these are not brand. These are not brand new designs. Don't get too excited. But these are replacement molds for some of the upcoming for Easter. But nice, clean, fresh molds. Yeah, heck, we'll wash them anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but brand new molds to replace yes. some uh, that have been old, well loved, shall we say? Yeah. But it's shocking how much the molds cost. Yeah. This box of molds is thirty-five hundred dollars. It's wow. just, but we, we need them. Yeah. 
because there's a lot of hidden costs to running businesses and then people think you know you get a bunny and like why is that bunny so much money it's like well it took three people to make it yeah. and the molds aren't uh, free yeah <laughs> i never understood how much molds actually cost until yeah. you just told me today. yeah they're about 20 they average like 28 dollars each there's a, some the wow. little chicky ones in here are um i think those are 33 dollars each wow. That's just for a single mold. So Maybe yeah, you got into the wrong business here. You should have been doing molds. <laughs> I know. I got that some little Santas while I was at it. The good part was, for whatever reason, that it was free shipping. So I got that going for me. Yeah. So you can be sure that I will count all of these because sometimes, you know, there might be a mistake. They might only send you half a mold. And when you're paying that much for a mold, yeah. you want the whole thing. Yeah. But so yeah, the little, little chicks. Oh, cool. Yeah. I don't know if I've seen these ones before. These are just a, just at Easter time. Yeah. You got the, the the female, and then you gotta find the corresponding oh, male yeah. one over yeah. here somewhere. Nope. No. Nope. Okay. Still that. Well, we're just, yeah. it might be a whole different bag. It could be. I got thirty three <laughs> of each with because that's three depressions each. Yeah. So that equals ninety nine. Well, I figured that was pretty close to hundred. I feel like I could do the math for that. So that was that. Now I wanted to talk, I wanted to um, read that question. Yeah. Okay. Question number one. I remember my mom make, making peanut brittle with my mom using her enamel table kitchen top. Would I need to oil or butter it before pouring hot candy on it? Or should I even use it? Um, when we pour our hot candy onto the cooling table, it's 200 well it's 310 degrees and then the brittle i believe is 290 degrees and we mm. put that on a metal table i don't know that i would recommend pouring that on enamel i have not worked with enamel so personally i mm. would suggest it i mean some people have asked yeah. about granite which i think granite might be okay because that's very similar to marble but yeah don't tell don't think that i'm telling you to do it yeah <laughs> i exactly. think you should put it on the cooling table use your cooling table that's what you got it for yeah yeah, I was so, going to say, yeah. so yeah, what materials, I mean, I guess granite would work too, because they always say, at least when I got like the granite in our house mm -hmm. done or whatever, they said it's very high temperature resistant, okay. but I don't know if they expected the temperature of... Pour, boiling candy on yeah. it? Yeah. I don't know if they're expecting that either, so my recommendation yeah. is, I wouldn't do it, but this is America, you do what you want. Sure. And the other question is, well, okay, so she said, will the candy cool down too fast? Mm -hmm. It will probably cool down pretty quickly if it's cold. It, you might want to heat it up with a... Uh, heating pads or mm -hmm. blow dryer first um would you please explain the different types of gloves you use and why you want to take a walk in there sure okay let's, let's just hope this. that they're not screaming and yelling and well we'll washing. go slowly can i mention yeah. that um a bride emailed me that she loves her candy so much that she actually registered for it as a wedding gift that is too <laughs> sweet isn't it just you are the candy of choice on the day of someone's happiest day of their life but she doesn't want it till after her wedding you know if uh, she fits into her dress and stuff then yeah. she doesn't need to fit into it anymore how dare go she go ahead yeah <laughs> okay do they have a replacement can we come in and yeah. take a look at your gloves for a minute we just want to somebody's question is what are your various uses what are your various gloves and uses okay tyler prefers a nitro so what are those why would you prefer those over because we have lots of different types of gloves so i mean the biggest thing for me is the sizing and the size that we have extra large in are the nitro ones oh, oh that's gotcha. because they make you feel like a doctor and they make you feel special <laughs> and, <Yes>. and smarter <laughs> so. i like them when i'm washing molds because the water's so hot mm. that too it's a little and you were actually washing molds today. Exactly, so that's that my too. primary job. So. Yeah. <laughs> so the and then the vinyl ones are just for everyday candy handling. But, mm -hmm. um, then the other ones we use are welding gloves, and you don't want any that are um, flame retardant because that's going to get chemicals in your candy. You just wash them with soap and water, and then we spray them with sanitizer. So these leather gloves we got from Amazon. They're leather welding gloves. Yeah. From Amazon. Nothing too special. Nope, and then also work gloves for the for the um, when we're doing the pulling up the candy. Again, we wash these in bleach yeah. water, so we do, I use detergent and and then bleach water, mm -hmm. but no fabric softener or yeah. fabric towels because yeah. that'll get into the candy. Do you want to actually while you have the gloves there explain why? <clears throat> you would use these at different times, like the welding gloves yes. versus the other ones? You're using the welding gloves when the candy is at its hottest. We're mm -hmm. throwing it on the hook. And then um, you don't want to get color on them, so that's when we're using the cotton gloves mm -hmm. to, to mix up the color. Um, in the cotton gloves, you can wash them. and The color washes right out, even if it stains them. That's it right. doesn't matter because 
won't be left behind on the candy. Yeah. But the the cotton gloves shine it up when uh, Steve or Max is pulling that out. That's true. So I think I hit on all the gloves. I think you hit on the glove. vinyl, the nitrile, the welding, and yeah. the cotton. Any gloves? Any other gloves? Anybody? Can think of? Steve, what's your favorite glove? My gloves I drive to work with. Oh right, you have oh, driving yeah. gloves. Wow. I didn't know they made <laughs> driving <laughs> gloves. Because you drive you so keep fast. Keep the hands for, warm. for eight blocks. You have special yeah. driving gloves. They're never going to get worn out. No. <laughs> <laughs> they have the fingers cut off of them. They're, just like They're racing gloves. Yeah. Right. He is quick, Steve. After yeah, all. that's what I'm saying. So I'm going to go set that up, and if and when I figure it out, I'll give you a holler. Sweet. Yes, and then the reason we're switching over to that air pillow machine is because in New York State, they might be banning packing peanuts, Yeah. and they do land in the landfill, which yes. we're not trying to fill the landfill. The reason we use them is for keeping cold packs cold. It's kind of like making our own cooler, so mm -hmm. hopefully we'll still be able to do it for that. But we're yeah. going to switch over to using the air pillows whenever possible because it's better for the environment. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Do your part. I'm trying. You're doing it. Okay. I will be in there trying to see if I am smarter than that machine. Wish me luck, everybody. I'll catch up. <laughs> okay. Thanks. I need it. More cups. All the cups. Getting ready for Valentine's. Oh, yeah? What are you going to ask to be your Valentine? <laughs> There's my, only one right answer to that. It sounds like a trap. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a trap. Uh oh. I sense a trap. Oh, that's a good answer. Quick enough. Gotta be faster, Steve. Okay, I'll practice. We'll do it again really quick. I'll, Steve, I'll, who's gonna be your Valentine this Valentine's? Day? My sweetie. Oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, well, we won't show her the video. It's okay. Okay. She won't know. She'll never know. Everyone knows Steve's first love is Batman, so. <laughs> he is Batman. You're right, he is Batman. I always forget. I'm so sorry. You don't have to say anything. So, what kind of clusters are these again, Steve? Almond. Almond? These are just one of the clusters that go in the assorted chocolates. Oh, okay, gotcha. Just feeling a little mm -hmm. nutty today. Yep, today I gotta make all kinds of nut cups. Yeah, many it's a chocolate as, day. Many as I can, yep, chocolate day today. Mm -hmm. I'm going oh. fast. Whoa! Yeah, because we're watching that CU game. <laughs> Trying to. We're working and. But also enjoying the game, so because it's a Saturday, it's not a weekday, so it's kind of like a. So we can. So we can. What? Wait, we can. We can. We can do it. We can watch basketball, football, and work. Who's gonna win the Super Bowl, Steve? Oh, that's gonna be a tough one. Yeah, Chiefs it's, uh, and Chiefs and Forty Nine. Oh boy, they're both good. Yeah. That would be a great game. Yeah, I think I think the 49ers have a chance, but the Chief Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes looks like a QB I've never seen ever in my entire life. Yeah, they're both great quarterbacks. Yeah. Both. I mean, it'll be it's definitely going to be a Super Bowl of Super Bowls, yeah. you know. Be great. I mean, that's the idea, right? When you watch a Super Bowl, you're watching the yeah. two best teams. Yeah. For sure. Gotta get some more. More almonds. I'm running out. I have to open up a new case. Oh wow. So I was gonna say, how many trays have you done today? Just a couple. Just today, a couple. I, d I was continuing from yesterday. Oh yeah, I I came in yesterday and you were still making these. So yeah. They're nice. They, they look really good in the boxes, right? You usually put these in like the assorted Yeah, boxes the assorted chocolates for... Yeah. No, we are using the heart boxes. Oh, the heart boxes? Heart mm -hmm. boxes. And yeah. What do you think is the, the best nut to make clusters with? Out of the ones that you usually work with, because you usually do like cashews, almonds, um, cashews, almonds, peanuts. hazelnuts. Oh yeah, hazelnuts too. Peanuts. Are there any that are like tricky? Do they do anything to the chocolate or anything? Mm. 
No, just the almonds and hazelnuts though. A lot of a lot of the um Is it just because they're bigger? Or oh, the um, shells come off. Them. Oh, okay. But yeah, I never thought of that. But that actually that adds to the flavor. Yeah. So I mean you're not missing anything, no. you know? It's a, if anything it's an added bonus. Yeah. Never thought of that. There it is, in all its glory. I can now make homemade bubble wrap. Wow. I made this bubble wrap. Mm-hmm, look at those nice bubbles. I know, they're really nice. Yeah. And you can, you can customize homemade, your... Homemade perforations, now it comes, these come on the roll, they're already perforated. So I also made this homemade bubble wrap. <laughs> She's very satisfied <laughs> yes, with Yes, I am. Okay, I'm just, I'm only gonna do this once. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I'm not. Oh, that's not very satisfying. Oh, no, they don't pop. Unpoppable bubble wrap? What, what world is this? What? No. Maybe I'm too weak. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably not that's it. That's the biggest joke okay. I've ever today. This is great. It's unpoppable bubble wrap. Yeah. Okay. So the way this thing works is. Okay. I'm going to get on this side. Lock. Unlock. Okay. I'm still learning it. I am not an Listen, expert. Listen, we're all learning as we're going. Here. I am not an expert by any means. Okay, don't snap that off whatever you do. I feel like that would be bad. Okay, so, here's my little homemade pillow. To get this on here, you have to cut a little corner, because this is two layers, to cut a little corner and get it on this little needle. And it can be kind of a challenge it's about as much fun as threading a needle for a sewing machine. Hmm. Have you ever done that? Uh, no, but I've tried to just put a thread through a regular needle. Okay. And that is... A sewing machine, well, I have a crummy, crummy sewing machine. It's even worse. It's like so awkward to get in there and then... Because it's already in the, like, Yeah, mechanism. it's already in the, Yeah, you can't, yeah. like, you can't thread your needle and then put it in the machine. Yeah. It, that's, that, that's not a thing. That's just crazy. So you have to do it, but it's just so awkward. I was going to say, maybe even someone that's watching this video will be able to... Be like, hey, Terry. Yes, I hope so. I have one of these. I'm planning on that. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think I got it on there. Sort of. Listen. Oh, it's, oh, you know, it's got to be that. It's got to be through these two little arms. Oh yeah. Right through here, and then on that needle. Okay, I think it's on there. And then through here. Can make a noise. It will. Oh man. When I turn it on, it will. Oh, goodness. Let's put it on there until it meets resistance. Now I might have that. That might not be okay. optimal. Then you lock it on. Okay. And then turn it on. Except it's supposed to start running, and it's not. So I probably it's supposed to start feeding oh, up there. Okay. I was gonna so say. I probably could do better. Listen, we strive for excellence here. And we strive for our bubble wrap to move through the machine. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> it's another thing we're striving for. But I probably just didn't get it. I didn't feed it through far enough. So when you first got these, I was imagining when you set that. I know you have these type in there, but I was just imagining the big, big pillows and not like these nice little. I was too. Yeah. I didn't know. You know, life is like a bunch of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. I thought I was getting different sizes of pillows. Got you. But I actually had different sizes of the bubble wrap but I, can't, I like this because now I'm going to be storing this as a wrap mm -hmm. as opposed to I probably won't need as much as this yeah and that takes up wow that takes yeah, up, it takes way up more a space. lot of space it comes in a it's this tall and this big it comes with four wheels of that I mean I'll probably still need this for wrapping sometimes we just yeah need but that thing. doesn't take up a ton of it doesn't take well no this also comes in four wheels oh, that are well, pretty big so yeah. um but hmm. this will free up some space and we're trying to use less packing peanuts. Hmm. So let's see if I got it done correctly this time. I'm gonna see if I have it threaded on there. Lock. We Start. Yeah. Come on, Bessie, you can do it. Yep. Uh, now, some people might want me to just keep letting this go for an ASMR. I can't do that, sorry. <laughs> wow, we just lost that would, something. You know. that, that would be just fill up this room with bubbles, and I'm sorry, we just don't have the space for that. So, 
just gonna have to get your own. Maybe um, someday. Yeah, yeah. We'll kick it down Please? the road. All right. And hopefully everybody will forget. Okay. <laughs> so that's my new homemade. I wish I knew how to get this out of here properly. Oh wait, unlock. That could possibly work. <laughs> All right. Don't snap that needle off. I feel like that's yeah, that's has to key. Be said. And there you go. And you can adjust how much air goes in here. You could probably wow. pop one of these. But that'd be uh. such a waste. <laughs> wow. You can I, see me? Yes. Unfortunately. I was one so day still. it'll work. I was so still. I yeah. gotta get the camo tie dyed. Yes. But until then, I'll show you Valentine's Day. Here it is. Here's Valentine's Day. Right here. So we have our Valentine's novelties. Somebody came in and bought every teddy bear pop that we had for a baby shower, no less. It's like, don't you know that's for Valentine's Day? Yeah. She just bought it willy-nilly. She's Louise. I know. It's Terry. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. So we have our peanut butter filled hearts, which are super popular at Valentine's Day. It is a big honking heart shaped peanut butter cup. And we're going to be making 400 of those. Wow. And hopefully that'll be enough. Maybe. Maybe. And then we have our heart box with the lid that comes off and inside you will find nestled chocolates. What wow. a wonderful thing. It's a, uh, an assorted box that you can eat. Yes. Candy inside of candy. You can't beat that. Yeah. We're going to be making 200 of those again. Hopefully it'll be enough. Um, up top we've got some solid hearts that just say to my valentine. And these are not on the website because we only have two molds of this gotcha. particular heart. But we have so them. are all these shippable or I was going to say some? Most things are shippable. Okay. Most of the things I'm showing you are shippable. The teddy bears are just a cute thing yeah. for teddy bear season. Um, we've got our lollies, different heart shaped lollies. Those are on the website. And then we've got some little, I don't know if you can see it. That's a cupid in there. Oh, you know what? You should blur it out. He's naked. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Let me show you the one with the roses. <laughs> yeah. Those are fully dressed roses. You can't really see it so much. I was going to say, it might be reflecting, yeah. so. But the pizza resistance here for Valentine's Day. Whoa. The boxes. So our folks come in. These boxes are all empty. They just tell us which box number they would like. Mm -hmm. And then they tell us the, the assortment they like in it. So they can... Our general storm is cream centers, nut clusters, butter crunch, salad pieces, and caramel, but they can break it down to all milk, all dark, all creams, all nuts, nuts and chewies and crunchies. Wow, there you go. And um, so employee wise, we need a lot of employees on hand because each human needs somebody to wait on them. Yeah. So that's, that's our Valentine's story. I mean, we have a whole other store full of stuff yeah. over here. We've- um, I was gonna say, I really like, I the, the bear. The bear box was drawing me in. The bear. This yes. is going to be the, the last year for the bear. Really? I know it's unbearable, mm. but it's been discontinued. Aww. It's been replaced oh. by the bee. The bee? And then you bee have a tie-dye one? Yes. They better not They better not discontinue no. that. I will not. Terry will not be happy. No. That Terry will be, will be very angry. It would be terrible. Yeah. We've got a half oh, pound yeah, of the tie-dye. Yeah, 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 I wish we had a pounder, but mm. we don't. Yeah. Or I wish it was more yeah, you know. tie dye -y, but whatever. Exactly. But you never know what they're going to come up with. Life really is like a box of chocolates. Yeah. And we've caught up on the ribbon candy. If you've been following the um, the videos, we have three kinds. Mm -hmm. We might have four kinds in stock. Yeah. I think the only thing we don't have right now is the chocolate filled with peanut butter and fluff. Mm. But yeah, yeah. we've... Uh, Look at that. It, it used to be this is what it looked like at Christmas time, and now this is what it looks like all the time. Oh, really yeah. ribbon candy. Okay. All year round. It's kind of cool, though. I mean. It is that the demand is there and it's so high that, and we have to make this stuff twice a week. So we do chocolate five days a week and something hard candy yeah. natured two times a week, and that seems to be our schedule and it seems to be working. It must keep things really like interesting as well. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. Just constantly kind of like, okay, what are we doing this week? We're uh, inventing ourselves. We'll put the tie dye. We still, we still it, don't have that down. Yeah. You know, you've got it when you could just make the candy, and not have to talk. Yeah. And you just each knows what your your job is and the movements you have to yeah. make. With a tie dye, it's like okay, okay, okay. Ma what are we doing, Max? Uh, rainbow, ro rainbow order. Okay, Roy G. Biv. <laughs> how many of these stripes? What colors did we do? Uh -huh, Who's yeah. handling what color? And each one looks different yeah. every time. And then Steve tries to wander off because usually when he's making the hard candy or the ribbon candy, he'll get started poured on the table. Then he goes and makes the next batch. But, but tie dye 
is a whole other thing. It's its own you need all hands on deck. Yes. You need three people, two people per color. Yeah. And then you got the white. Yeah. So, yeah. But we always kind of forget that and you got to like rein them and get back here. You, you mix these colors, you. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. Really driving the whip there. Oh, yeah. Someone's got to, so someone's got to keep Cracking in the towel. <laughs> <laughs> So that's it for Valentine's yeah, Day. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff over there, but I think I think everyone knows. Have probably seen it all. We have added a few vegan things. Got some more people's coming in. Okay, I'll okay. Let say you goodbye, Terry. All right. No, you say goodbye, Terry. Goodbye, Terry. Goodbye. Bye.